Welcome to the DrugTestingBook.com Specimen Collection and Preparation video. When to collect urine for the test. You may collect urine samples within detection time after suspected drug use. Collection time is crucial to detecting any drug of abuse. Each drug is cleared by the body and is detected in urine at different times and rates. How to collect urine. Remove the test cup from the foil pouch by tearing at the notch. Use it as soon as possible. Open the cap of the test cup and urinate directly into the cup. The urine sample should be above the minimum urine level scale located on the left side of the cup label. Wipe off any splashes or spills that may be on the outside of the cup. How to collect urine. You may observe the temperature strip affixed on the test cup between two to four minutes to see if the urine is diluted by water or liquid other than urine. The temperature range 90 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit is acceptable. It is important to remember that the urine sample should be above the minimum urine level required for proper testing. The minimum urine level is located on the left side of the cup label. How to do the test. Test must be in room temperature 50 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit. After collection. After the urine has been collected, Recap the cup and place the teacup on the flat surface. Peel the label from right to left and read the results within 5 minutes. Do not read the results after 5 minutes. Reading the results. Preliminary positive. A rose pink band is visible in each control region and no color band appears in the appropriate test region. This indicates a preliminary positive result for the corresponding drug of that specific test zone. Negative. A rose pink band is visible in each control region and the appropriate test region. It indicates that the concentration of the corresponding drug of that specific test zone is below zero or the detection limit of the test. Invalid. If a color band is not visible in each of the control region, or a color band is only visible in each of the test region, the test is invalid. Another test should be run to reevaluate the specimen. If the test still fails, please contact the distributor or the store where you bought the product with the lot number and expiration date. Note, there is no meaning attributed to line color intensity or width. A preliminary positive test result does not always mean a person took illegal drugs, and a negative test result doesn't always mean a person did not take illegal drugs. There are a number of factors that influence the reliability of drug tests. The result you obtained is called preliminary for a reason. The sample must be tested by a laboratory in order to determine if a drug of abuse is actually present. Send any sample which does not give a negative result to a laboratory for further testing. Please contact us at 866-465-2855 and we will assist you with a laboratory setup. What is a false positive test? The definition of a false positive test would be an instance where a substance is identified incorrectly by the multi-drug urine test cup. The most common causes of a false positive test are cross-reactants. Certain foods and medications, diet plan drugs, and nutritional supplements may cause a false positive false positive test result with the product. The definition of a false negative test is that the initial drug is present but isn't detected by the multi-drug urine test cup. If the sample is diluted or the sample is adulterated, that may cause a false negative result. Test limitations. This test has been developed for testing urine samples only. No other fluids have been evaluated. Do not use this device to test anything but urine. This test is a qualitative screening assay. It is not designed to determine the quantitative concentration of drugs or the level of intoxication. Adulterants such as bleach and or loom in urine specimens may produce erroneous results regardless of the analytical method used. If these adulterants are suspected, the test should be repeated with another urine specimen. There is a possibility that technical or procedural errors may cause erroneous results. A negative result may not necessarily indicate drug-free urine. Negative results can be obtained with a drug when the drug is present but below the cutoff level of the test. 
test does not distinguish between drugs of abuse and certain medications. The adulteration assays are for screening purposes only. All abnormal results should be confirmed by an alternative methodology. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our drugtestingbulk.com YouTube channel for updates, new videos, and more information.